to actually put this into a new worksheet and basically convert it back into a debit and credit format because uh, logistically that just makes it easier. It makes everything flow better once we set this process up a few times. It's also really good practice. A statement of cash flows is a good practice because it allows us to in some ways deconstruct some things and see how things are put together. So that's really good for just learning accounting. So even if we're not going to be doing statement of cash flows all the time, uh, if we can put one together, we really have a pretty good understanding of what's going on because we have to do some deconstruction and work backwards in order to, to make this happen. And uh, that helps to understand things. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this balance sheet. We're going to put that into our worksheet here. And we're going to do the same thing that's over here. It's going to go line by line, but we're going to convert it from a plus and minus format, as is the case for financial statements, back to a debit and credit format. So we're kind of doing the opposite of what we did when we made the financial statement. And in doing so, we're going to eliminate some of these subcategories we don't need when we're putting this together. We're not going to have assets or current assets or property plants and equipment or uh, total current assets here. We're gonna eliminate those and just simplify this process back to just basically a trial balance. We're gonna do that for the two periods, just like we have here. And then we'll subtract out the two and we'll have the difference. That's really what we're looking for. So we're just gonna do this line by line. I'm just gonna say that, uh, you know, the first one is just gonna be cash. We're just gonna pull this over line by line. You can type these in here and uh, it might be better to actually go through here if you wanna go faster and type out the accounts first and then enter the numbers. I'm gonna do them line by line uh, across so that we can see the data and where it's coming from more easily. So there's a difference between how fast we wanna do this and how much we wanna understand it. So if we wanna understand it well, better to do line by line going across. If you wanna do it as fast as possible, probably better to type in all the accounts, then type in column by column each number. Okay, so the cash for 2000X5 is gonna be 